playing my soccer universe. Let's talk about way important cup competitions again. Uh, but actually, there was actually some action happening yesterday, which is probably worth talking. Uh, let's start Copa del Rey. Um, the smaller game was, of course, Espanyol against Betis, which ended 1-1. Um, we had the one that I did not talk about happen already on Tuesday between uh, Getafe and Valencia, 1-0 uh, for Getafe, and then Real Madrid against Girona. Um, it was an interesting match because it kind of shows all the weaknesses of Real Madrid, but also a little bit of uh, hope going forward, I would say. Um, and yes, I still have a cold. And looking like it, honestly, when I see myself. Anyway, so uh, weaknesses. Well, defensively, Real Madrid is surely having some trouble and Girona took uh, advantage of that right from the get-go. Seventh minute, they take a 1-0 lead. Um, the good thing was, I think it was Lozano, uh, the good thing is that Vasquez, uh, ten minutes later, equalized the good thing for Real Madrid. If you don't, if you're not for Real Madrid, of course it was not a good thing. Uh, I'm actually not sure. If, uh, I say it is not completely neutral. Um, now for Real Madrid, one-one, they had most of the game. Uh, of course, Girona was basically uh, having a bunker tactic, holding back, uh, and you know, let Real Madrid try and score goals and yeah um, Real Madrid kept attacking Vinicius Jr. was of course the new talent I still am not quite convinced yes he's probably the bright light at the moment but the few things I've seen from him there are some uh, sparks of great creativity but uh, his goal scoring record I, I mean, he is not quite there yet but he might he might um, and then I think it was a, a, a penalty was given to Real Madrid. I think it was a hard decision, I'm not sure. There were two penalties now. And uh, Sergio Ramos uh, commerced the penalty the same way as he did earlier this season against Girona, um, chip down the middle. Um, and yes, Sergio Ramos, inspirational leader. I, I think he is now personality wise pretty much there where Ronaldo was. That's the feeling I have. I mean, he, whenever he scores, he feels like he's the greatest in the world. And yeah, I mean, they have won three Champions Leagues. So they have won three Champions Leagues, but uh, as a defender, um, honestly, Sergio Ramos is way past his prime. I think he was a really great defender, but he's losing it. But yeah, he's the captain in his brain. So um, having said all that, Girona got, an, got also a penalty early in the second half and made it 2-2. Um, and they barely had shots on goals, but they managed two goals. That's, that says something. Um, but yeah, Sergio Ramos gets another header. Greatest in the world, of course. And then uh, Bonzema kills the game off. There you go. Real Madrid wins 4-2. And probably will fancy their chances going forward. Um, Given the Barcelona is not taking the cup very seriously, I think uh, Real Madrid, that's the trophy that they have to set their eyes on. Um, and then there was the League Cup semi-final, and I really don't like the League Cup, but that was actually a good game. Um, I saw the last few minutes, um, but before that um, we had Chelsea coming out flying. The ego in, of course, didn't play. Uh, doesn't have the permission yet to do so. I think on the weekend he will probably even start for Chelsea. What else can, can I do? But Kante and Azar quickly made it a 2-0 uh, reversal. So at that moment uh, Chelsea is up 2-1 uh, on aggregate and looked even uh, more dangerous. But in the second half suddenly uh, Tottenham is coming back and has like a good 15, 20, 20, 20 minutes where they do have chances and even get the equalizers through Llorente and given all the uh, shit that was going on around uh, Llorente with him being perceived as a subpar striker and so on, which 
look at his career, maybe at the moment he is on the downturn of his career, but um, he has been a pretty good striker overall. Um, so yeah, he makes it 1-2, which means a penalty shootout, uh, if it stands like that. And despite there being chances uh, on both sides, uh, I think Lucas Murda had one for Tottenham he, at, at the very end of uh, header for Giroud that probably could have made it 3-1 and avoided the penalty shootout. Uh, it was an open game. Uh, I find it a little bit odd that the away goal rule does not count. Uh, and I know there are some discussions why, why, why. I still like the away goal rule a lot because if it avoids, it is pretty good at avoiding um, overtimes. And in a day and age where players are anyway playing way too many minutes, I think that's a good thing, uh, honestly. Um, it also, you know, if it's 1 0 and then 0 1, uh, yes, then of course. I also find it a little bit always hard to swallow, uh, like what happened to Lask and so on. You lose the first game 0 1, then you make it up 2 0, but a goal still will throw your position through. I mean, yes, there's a little bit more onus on the home team, but then the home team usually has home field advantage. So I think overall it balances out. The only thing I would do is I would abandon the away goal rule once it goes to overtime. That's my only. My, really my only change that I would do. Um, but yeah, back to the League Cup, it went to penalties. Uh, it was so funny that the coin toss was won by Alderweireld and he's asking, shall we go first or second? It's, yes, at the World Cup, everyone that went second won. It is a no-brainer, typically. An absolute no-brainer. You should go first. Um, and yes, why they abandoned the ABBA or ABBA rule instead of ABAB, I don't know. I honestly think that's how the way it should be done. Uh, in tennis, they the same thing. Anyway, uh, Tottenham goes first, um, but kind of to jinx themselves. Uh, they miss first. Uh, I think it was Eric Dyer. Yes, Eric, Eric, Eric Dyer missed. Um, so the first two went, of course, in for each team. Then Eric Dyer misses. Um, Chelsea takes advantage of it. Then another miss for uh, Tottenham. I think it was Mura. Uh, I don't know 100% of that now. Uh, and David Luiz sends uh, Chelsea through. League Cup final against Manchester City. That's the one chance that. Chelsea will have to get a title this season and I'm not sure if it wouldn't be, I think it will be taken seriously by Manchester City as well, I mean Manchester City will of course be favourites in that one. Well that's that, uh, all the important cup competitions, um, no transfer news uh, that I'm aware of and now I'm sure there was something, I didn't check news this morning, I'm sure there was something hap happening, it will make me look like an ass a little bit but yeah. You can let me know in the comments. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.